Now, democracynow.org, the War and Peace Report. I mean, as we turn now to the wave of historic protests that struck the retail giant Walmart on Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, that's the busiest shopping day of the year. Workers and their supporters demonstrated more than a thousand Walmart stores. Democracy Now went to the Walmart store in Secaucus, New Jersey, on Friday. Once you get off the bus, we're going to divide in different groups. We're going to start going in different groups to the store. We're going to have a flash mob, a line clock. We're going to occupy the parking lot, and we're going to sing a lot of fun songs. Uh, my name is Sundrop Carter, and right now we're in front of Actually, we're in front of Sam, Sam's Club next to Walmart in Secaucus, New Jersey, at a Black Friday protest. Workers across the country are walking out of stores today, telling Walmart that they're tired of being treated badly and want fair wages and respect at their workplace. And we're here in solidarity with those workers. Uh, last I heard, there's over a thousand actions happening across the country. And there's walkouts happening, worker walkouts happening, um, in over a hundred stores. My name is Walter Arvalo. Um, I used to work at the um, store over at Carney, New Jersey. That was store number 5447. I worked there for like about two, about two and a half years. It was a pretty hostile environment. Basically, they would expect you to do like a one person to do like a three-man job and like you know in basically eight hours and there were times like um, I don't know how how I would do so but there were other workers that you know that they just really couldn't handle like the amount of work that was given to them my name is Tammy Tyree I'm with the retail action project and we fight for change in the retail industry many people shop but they don't think about who's who's the person that's helping them and and that that person has a family family and is making a living. This is not just something that people do on their way to something else all the time, which is what the major employers try to tell people. These are careers. I made a living doing retail work for 30 years, and many people are not able to do so today. There's a large percentage of retail workers that are working for $7.25 an hour, which is minimum wage, and, and even some retailers are, work, are paying people below minimum wage. Benefits come to you when you work a certain amount of hours and when you have a certain status. But if people are working and they're not getting even part-time hours, not even part-time hours, how can you get benefits? So the way that they are denied benefits is by not giving the workers the hours and giving them the classification of full-time or even authorized part-time work. We talked about going on strike and everything, but that just never, it just never went through. We even talked about walking out on Black Friday, um, even before all this um, happened. The management um, bullies them, and like they'll they'll just let them know. Well, look, if you do so and so, you'll just lose your, you know, you're gonna lose your job, point blank. We're doing mic checks, like in groups about 10, and Walmart security was coming around and telling people they would have to leave. And so people sort of dispersed, and then we just found this other group of about 50 or 60 people who were being pushed out of the store by security and chanting on the way out. My name is Max, and I'm from United Food and Commercial Workers, Local 88. The nation is finally catching up with what's going on at Walmart. All right, it's one thing to say low price, low price, low price, but there's a price to the low price. It's time for, like, former associates and even associates now to, you know, to show a message over to the, to the folks over in um, Bentonville, Arkansas, that, you know, we're just not going to take it anymore. The voices of protest outside of Secaucus, uh, New Jersey, Walmart, produced by Democracy Now! Sam Alkoff and Martina Starista. They produced the piece. The Walmart protests were organized in part by Our Walmart, an organization backed by the United Food and Commercial Workers. Um, nine people, including three Walmart workers, were arrested at a protest in Los Angeles after they blocked traffic. Walmart responded by diminishing the impact of the demonstrations. This is the company's marketing officer. Duncan McNaughton. 
We estimate that less than 50 Walmart associates were involved in the protests across the United States, and in many of those locations, no Walmart associates took place. We had roughly the same number of call-ins than we had last year for people that didn't come to work. Well, for more, we're joined by Josh Idelson, contributing writer for The Nation magazine salon, and in these times where he's been reporting on the Walmart protests. We did ask Walmart to join us today, but they did not respond to our request. Um, we had you on uh, last Wednesday, uh, before the big protests on Friday. Can you summarize what happened, Josh, uh, on Black Friday? Sure. So what we saw Thursday night and Friday was over a thousand protests strikes in a hundred cities, according to organizers. Those strikes, they say, included hundreds of workers. Organizers say they're still counting the number. But if, for perspective, in October, we saw 160 retail workers go out on strike. So if there were hundreds out, we've seen not exponential growth, but likely steady increase in the number of workers who are out. And that comes after significant threats and captive audience meetings and other efforts by Walmart to suppress the protests and make workers believe that there would be quote-unquote consequences. What do you mean by captive audience meetings? And also, talk about Walmart's changing or evolving response to these growing protests. So I talked to workers for the nation who described mandatory meetings where Walmart, a company that we know doesn't pay for anything they don't think they have to, paid workers to sit in meetings where they were told that if they participated, it could hurt Walmart's sales, it could cut into their bonuses where they were told no comment in response to the question of whether they could be disciplined for participating. And so we see, at the same time that Walmart publicly has been dismissive, privately Walmart has made an intensified effort over the past week leading up to Black Friday to make workers believe that they could suffer adverse consequences if they participate. And then talking about whether these protests were legal or illegal? Yes. So Walmart filed a National Labor Relations Board charge, which, as I explained to the nation, is unlikely to succeed, but sends the message to workers that Walmart is claiming the strikes are not legally protected. Whether Walmart wins would turn on whether the strikes are designed to win union recognition, and the workers haven't really provided Walmart any evidence of that. But this was a shot across the bow to send the message that even though the law protects strikes against unfair labor practices, Walmart sees the strikes as illegal, which would give Walmart justification to fire people who 